Hey everyone, welcome back. So now, we earlier we saw how to solve this type of problem, a partial differential equation with constant coefficients, and it's also set equal to zero, so that makes it homogeneous. Uh, we did it the long way, right? The one where you have to use the change of coordinate, the coordinate method. Now remember, anytime you have constant coefficients, you can use this equation where your function essentially, your answer is f a function at bx minus a y. Remember, when you're solving these equations, you're actually, your answer should be a function, right? It shouldn't be a number, it should be a function, a function that you can take the derivative of with respect to x and plug it in here, and a function that you can take the derivative of with respect to y and plug it in here. Now, here we're going to see that there are actually lots of answers or lots of equations that satisfy this partial differential equation. Only until they give you auxiliary conditions that, you know, like, for example, like initial conditions or maybe boundary conditions or some type of condition, then you can find the actual equation that pertain, like a specific equation. So for here, we're going to find just general solutions, and you'll see what I mean by that. So here's a previous example, right? So same like before, instead of doing all that, you know, all that math, all that algebra, that's um, all you have to do is use this equation. So that means that my solution for this partial differential equation in PDE is actually u of x comma y, f of, let's see, b in this case would be the 3, so a minus 3 actually, so let's see, minus 3, x plus, I mean, minus 4y, that's actually a minus, minus 4y. Now, again, this means that your equation can be any function that is evaluated at like 3x minus 4y and what does that mean so let's say for example we have a function f right, so let's say we have function f of z equals i don't know x squared and z squared um, we plug in minus 3x minus 4y so we get f of minus 3x minus 4y that's going to be equal to minus 3x minus 4y squared Remember, this is equal to that, so by transitivity, then you have u of x, y, equals minus 3x minus 4y squared. So now this is actually a solution to this PDE. Uh, you can verify by just plugging in, taking the partial diff derivative with respect to x and then the partial der derivative with respect to y and plug those in. So here, partial derivative with respect to x would give us, to use the chain rule, so that would be a two parentheses. Um, well, minus 3x minus 4y times the derivative of the inside only with x because y is a constant in this case. So that would be times a minus 3. So we get u of x equals um, negative 6 parentheses minus 3x minus 4y. Now let's say we want to find, we now we, I mean, let, now let's say we have to find u of y. So u of y, so the derivative of this function u with respect to y. So again, chain rule, so 2 parentheses minus 3x minus 4y, and then times um, the, let's see, derivative of y, so that's a minus 4, right? So then we get u of y equals um, negative 8 minus 3x minus 4y. All right, so now let's plug these in into our equation, see if it does satisfy our equation, our PDE. So I have, let's see, 4, and that, so it's going to be 4 u of x minus 3 u of y equals 0, 4 parentheses u of x, so minus 6 parentheses minus 3x minus 4y, and in this case we have um, minus 3, let's see, minus 3, parentheses, u of y is negative 8 minus 3 of x minus 4y. You can distribute that if you wanted to and you still get the same result. So let's simplify it a bit further. So let's see. So that will give us a negative 24 on the, so we're just trying to see if this is equal to 0. So it's just basically, we're checking, right, check. So we're checking, so that's going to be, let's see, negative 24. And that's going to be a positive 24. Oh, yeah, it works out. So this cancels with that, and that equals 0. So we have found a solution. Like I said, I keep saying a solution because you can find 
more than one solution to this partial differential equation. Right, so we'll see another example right now. So in this case, I let f be z to the power of 2. So let's try a sign. You might wonder, well, well that works with, say, now so instead of f of z equals z squared, this time to say f of z equals sine of z. Right. So let's try that out. Um, plug in next 3 x so f. Right, so we're saying that this is, um, again, this is from the earlier, so we're saying that you have, you, our solution is equal to any function evaluated at that. So here's my function, so transitivity. We get u of x, y equals sine of minus 3x minus 4y. So we're saying that this function here is actually a solution to this PDE. All right, so once again, we have to check by finding the partial derivative with respect to x and partial derivative with respect to y. So here's u of x. Go u of x. Again, okay, chain rule. Um, derivative of sine, which is cosine, minus 3x minus 4y, times derivative of negative 3x, or only that one because with respect to x, not to y, it's minus 3. It's going to give us negative 3 cosine minus 3x minus 4y u of y so derivative with respect partial derivative with respect to y so it's going to give us let's see so again derivative of chain rule it's going to be cosine minus 3x minus 4y times negative 4 so u of y equals 4 cosine negative 3x minus 4y Plug them into our equation, see if it satisfies our PDE. So we're checking. All right, just checking it. So all this is checking actually. So we have 4 u of x minus 3 u of y equals 0. 4 minus 3 equals 0. See, so plug this entire thing in. So we're going to check now. All right, this is our original equation. We're going to check it, plug in u of x, plug in u of y. So we get, let's see, uh, minus 3 cosine of 3x minus 4y. Same thing here. Minus 4 cosine and then you know, all the stuff inside. So this is going to give us negative 12 cosine. Negative 12 cosine of minus 3x minus 4y plus 12 cosine minus 3x minus 4y. Is that equal to 0? Yeah, the same terms. It's like combined like terms, so these cancel out. So once again, we have another function. So this was a solution. So if we look back, remember, our solution to this PDE is saying any function evaluated at that. So here is one solution. Right? It's a function sign evaluated at that. And then from the previous example, right, we had squared so we have this solution as well so again so any function in this case z squared evaluated at negative 3x minus 4y you could do another another test right? they all turn out basically the same but you can do another one in case you're still wondering or still to so do another problem just to verify so once again our solution should be any function u of x y is equal to f of minus 3x minus 4y. So let's pick a function for f. Right, we already designed, we already did x squared. So let's say f of z equals, let's see, e to the x. e to the z, my bad. e to the z. So here's a function evaluated at negative 3x minus 4y. Done. Now we want to check if it actually satisfies our PDE. So we need to find the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y. So let's see, u of x is going to be, well, no, chain rule, and then times negative 3. u of x equals negative 3e, negative 3x minus 4y. Find u of y. It's going to be, again, chain rule e minus 3x minus 4y times negative 4. 
So your y equals negative 4e, negative 3x minus 4y. We can check our solution by plugging it back into our original PDE. So original PDE is 4u of x minus 3u of y equals 0. See if that works out. So let's plug in, let's see, 4 parentheses minus 3e, negative 3x, 3x minus 4y, minus 3, negative 4, e to the negative 3x minus 4y. Uh, this will give us a negative 12. Let's give us a negative 12. plus 12 and sure enough that equals 0 so once again just to recap when we are given a PDE like this one for example when we're given a PDE we are looking for a function that satisfies its conditions right so you have to find the partial derivative of x and the partial derivative of 2y we have a PDE with constant coefficients that is homogeneous that means set equal to 0 you basically use this equation which we talked about earlier right now recall this doesn't mean that you found your solution it just means you found a way to find all the possible solutions so any function evaluated at this will be a solution that's why we were able to get answers for um, f of z right if our function was f of z squared also we uh, found out that our answer could be a sine right our function could be a sine evaluated at negative 3x minus 4y and then lastly we did see that it could also be an exponential function f of z equals e to the z so any of those will work and actually there are plenty more uh, functions out there that will work another one that kind of comes to mind you, know, you can say for example f of minus 3x minus 4y equals 1 over minus 3x minus 4y like once you find u of x u of xy once you find these right u of x and u of y plug them in you also get the same resulting answer so this does not give you a like a specific solution it gives you a bunch of solutions like it's a general solution once they give you auxiliary conditions you know specific things like initial conditions then that's when you'll have to find like an, the actual function that satisfies that, that equation but if you're not given auxiliary conditions then this will be a good enough answer and then any of these functions will work I right, hope that helps out